People asked me over and over again how I got the people in my book to open up and tell their stories so vividly and so coherently. The first thing to say is that it wasn't always so coherent. That's the job of the writer, to sort through it and bring out that coherence. Editing. Yes, exactly. But I did think that an awful lot of people wanted to tell their stories because they said over and over again, I felt so alone in the experiences that I'd had. And I thought that if telling my story could help someone else to feel less alone, then it would be well worth doing. But I also found that people really wanted to be able to construct a coherent narrative out of their experience. It gave them a feeling of ownership of it. It gave them a sense that the dark parts were actually balanced by whatever moments of light there were. There was an urgency to that process for the people who were talking to me. And I found that if I sat and listened, it would be possible to get them to tell their stories on and on. People would say to me, I'm not sure about telling you the story. And then we'd record 22 hours of interviews. And I would think, well, I guess you did want to tell that story after all. So when I came, my first story it was like 30 minutes long. The art was trying to find what, what, the, what the actual point was, right? So like, what is your story? You should say like in one sentence, make it like, what are you trying to get at? And I did this story at Gramercy Park, and it was incredibly overwhelming and, and so terrifying. Afterwards, um, I had all of these, these people come up to me and tell me their stories. All of these people came and hugged me and cried, and I hadn't expected that. Like, I hadn't been prepared for my story to mean that to other people, to strangers that I didn't know. Stories are kind of our living history, right? So like everybody in our life, everyone around us kind of shares a little piece of us and they, they remember us. In the introduction uh, to the book that I highly recommend everybody gets, um, you quote a line that I love of George Orwell, where you say, where Orwell says, autobiography is only to be trusted when it reveals something disgraceful. A man who gives a good account of himself is probably lying, since any life, when viewed from the inside, is simply a series of defeats. We have problems sometimes. Some, so, some of our celebrities are great, but sometimes we have celebrities. They want to tell a story of how they went into some situation, and everybody was fucked up, but they prevailed. And the great raconteur tells the story the opposite. The great raconteur says, I went into a situation and everybody was actually kind of sweet and good, but I was fucked up in the head. And once you admit that, once you say, I'm a clown, you just admit to everybody, I'm a clown, then the audience immediately loves you. Vulnerability, we always say, is the number one mark of a great storyteller. Because it's in that vulnerability that we're able to connect with other people. Like one of the, my favorite stories in the book is told by Mike Massimino. He's an astronaut. And he gets to space. He's been sent expense, millions of dollars of expense to the taxpayers. And he's up there. And he's literally spent three years preparing for this mission, which is to fix the Hubble Space Telescope. And when he gets there, he can't get the back off the telescope because he can't get the screw out. And like very few of us in this room, I think, will ever travel to outer space. <laughs> but who can't relate to spending three years preparing for a mission only to be foiled by a stripped screw? <laughs> I was in the same moment when the astronaut told his story about fixing the Hubble Space Telescope. And I said to him, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. He described moving hand over hand, jumping across bits of space, so on and so forth. I said, I don't know how anyone could ever do anything that terrifying. And he pointed to the stage we were about to get on and said, less scary than this. Yeah. <laughs>